Welcome back to Mystical Heart Tarot Readings. This is your daily dose of reality for April 26th, 2021. This is a general reading for the collective. And let's see what the overall energy is for today. Please excuse the sound of the train in the background. I can't help it. I live near the railroad tracks. Let's see what we get for today. We got two of them wanting to come out. We're starting with uh, the Queen of Pentacles. We're having patience with regards to something we have value in, whether it be our job, money, or just anything. It could be family that we have uh, our value put our value into. It's what we value. We have thoughts that are coming to us either when we're taking a nap or when we're meditating. We're getting thoughts sent to us from above, from a higher power, whether it be our spirit guides, our ancestors, or our God source. We need to pay attention to our intuition, though. Our intuition is telling us something about things that we have value in. And what we have value in could be related to friendships as well. Friendships, relationships. Um, I mean, what we value is... It could be anything. It doesn't have to be a person. It doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be a job. It could be anything. And we're receiving messages from above. And we need to pay attention to those messages. And that's what this card is telling us. To pay attention to our intuition. And we have the full moon in this card too. And... We're coming up on a full moon, as a matter of fact. Okay, here we have stagnation. There's something we're stagnant in. Or maybe there's something that we feel stagnant in. Within our life. There's some sort of stagnation that's taking place. But we're being watched over. We're being guided by the Blessed Mother. Both here and here. She's sending us messages. We need to pay attention. That's what this card is saying. We need to pay attention to what she's telling us. And as you know, I always put her on a higher dimension because she is the Blessed Mother and she is over us. We're releasing negative thoughts. We're going to be releasing negative thoughts and or com negative com ways that we communicate. We're going to release it. Let it go. And here, we were trying to create something and we feel like we've been 
hurt in some way. Our thoughts or our communication, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with thoughts because of our heart, something has hurt our heart or hurting. And it's related to these negative thoughts that we need to release. And it could be related to the stagnation that's going on. This could be relate, related to stagnation. Like I said in the beginning, it's something that we value and that could be anything. Friendship, relationship, it doesn't have to be that. As I said, it could be anything. And we're going to receive the messages and we need to pay attention because we're being... We are being guided here and here and here. We're being guided about this stagnation. We're being, it's coming to us. The information is coming to us about all this stagnation, the negative thoughts, and the hurt feelings that we're, we're dealing with here. Something has hurt us, I feel, and it, we're stagnated. Maybe we're, maybe we're ra ruminating. That's the word I'm looking for, and I just heard it. We're ruminating, which is also stagnation, about something that has hurt us. A thought or maybe some line of communication. But harmony will come back into the way we feel. We just need to follow this, pay attention to our intuition, listen to the messages that we are being given, both here and here. I don't think we feel complete. I feel like we feel emotionally drained as well on this side. But messages are going out. We're sending messages out as well. We're taking action on this side with how we feel. And like I said, we're coming up on a full moon, and usually a full moon a few days before and a few days after has effects on us. And this could be some effects from the full moon. Because the full moon did come up in this reading right there. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. So, this side here, this stagnation, these negative thoughts that are hurting us, hurting our heart and emotions, we need to set boundaries. We need to let it go because it's not ours to carry. I got two that wants to come out, so I'll go ahead and take them. 
The first one is to reflect. So reflect on what it is that is stagnant in your life. Reflect on it. And get curious about it. But by all means, pay attention to your intuition and just know and listen to what you're being sent, the messages you're being sent, because you are being guided here. You are being guided. Okay, I hope that helped for today. I will see you back here tomorrow. Like, share, and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when videos come out. Invite your friends and family, and I am very grateful for all of my supporters, including my new ones. I'm gr very grateful for everybody that's here. Have a great week. Have a great day. I'll see you back here tomorrow for tomorrow's Daily Dose of Reality.